fell off the table. It means the markets must crash. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's a bull. Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Look at that rain out there and how smooth the water is actually too. I'd sure love to be out there kind of sight casting for some fish. Well, hope your day is well. Uh, looks like we're going to have a rainy uh, weekend this week, 4th of July, for my fellow South Florida peoples. And I uh, hope the rest of the country has a nice 4th of July coming up here. A little bit premature to talk about 4th of July. It's only Thursday. And uh, I'm going to do a quick show today. Didn't sleep too well last night. Got to admit, I ate something bad. It kept me up all night. I'm half asleep right now. So let's see what I can do half asleep. <laughs> ah, here's a perfect saying for uh, uh, what we've got going on in our environment out there. Again, politically, economically, all kinds of different ways, psychologically. Insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Uh, no, I did not fact check to see if Einstein actually said this. Um, I kind of don't think he did, but no less. What a great face to have on there. And uh, uh, that's exactly true. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and, and expecting different results. And here you go. U.S. national debt. Now, I'm not good at reading numbers that get that big, but I pretty much know that's a trillion right up there. 28 trillion, 470 billion, uh, 59 million, 400, 500, 600. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's flying right there. There's our U.S. national debt there, folks. And it just is in the red and it continues to get more and more in the red. Look at the debt per citizen. 80. Some of you may be familiar with this site. It's been around forever. It's really cool. It has all kinds of different stats on here. Uh, let's take here. I kind of roll down here. Uh, I guess you can put it on your phone as well. And apparently uh, it's free. There's no charge for this service at all. I don't know how they make their money on here. Probably some form of advertising. Uh, no less U.S. national debt clock. Debt per citizen. Uh, what is there, 330 million people in the United States or something like that? So for all the 330 million people, even the little babies, uh, each of them, even the little babies, <laughs> owe $85,429 per person to the U.S. government for their, uh, <clears throat> uh, for their uh, spending and whatever else they do with the money. Uh, debt per taxpayer, 226794 uh, well, that's because there's a lot more taxpayers, a lot more people out there working, paying everyone else's share. Uh, uh, well, actually, I won't say paying, getting their, <laughs> getting ripped off just as much as the people that don't work uh, by uh, taxes and uh, income tax and this tax and that tax. Uh, U.S. federal tax revenue, uh, there it is right there. Really cool site. It's called the usdebtclot.org. You'll find all kinds of information on here, including dollar to gold ratio per ounce, dollar to gold ratio in 1913, paper to silver ratio now uh, 186.66 to 1, uh, paper to gold ratio now 86 to 1, and dollar to crypto. Oh, that's a new one right there. Well, this all looks pretty darn scary, and uh, it, it is, it is. Uh, another great infographic that I found here uh, is what does a trillion dollars look like? Uh, all this talk about stimulus packages and bailouts, a billion dollars, a hundred billion, but one trillion, what's, well, everybody knows what a hundred dollar bill looks like. It's super thin. It's a fiat currency. <laughs> it's not backed by anything, but I digress. Uh, there's about the size of a one dollar bill. A packet of hundred dollar bills, that's about probably fairly accurate on screen size there. Uh, believe it or not, this little pile is a million dollars, 100 packs of 10,000. You could stuff that into a grocery bag and walk around with it. Not many people know that, but yeah, you could stuff a uh, uh, um, million dollars in a grocery bag and uh, walk around with it for sure. And uh, there is what, um, what while a measly million dollars, in the, here's a hundred million dollars is a little more respectable in size. It fits neatly on a standard pallet. Now remember, these are all hundred dollar bills. Uh, and what's the point of this? Well, we're, what the debt is, what the national debt is, it's in the trillions. What did I say it was? Hang on one second. Let's just imagine some of these piles. Uh, 
Oh my God, 28 trillion. That's just insane. Uh, give me one second here. Oh, there's the next thing I was going to tell you. And uh, there's a billion dollars right now. Now we're getting somewhere. That's what a billion dollars look like. Now, here's what a trillion dollars look like. There's that dude right there. See him standing? There's that dude right there. And there is twenty. There is a trillion dollars in $100 bills right there. I mean, that's vast. Imagine 28 of these and him standing next to that. And that's exactly where our national debt is today. But as gold and silver and precious metals holders... Don't worry about a thing because everything's going to be all right. <laughs> so, well, not everything. But what, what is going to be all right is the preservation of your wealth by buying gold, silver, and precious metals. Uh, you're in a good place there. I'd continue stacking gold and silver even when you see these prices get monkey hammered down. Uh, and as I said, don't worry about it because uh, everything's going to be all right. We're going to uh, continue to see highs here. Uh, as I said, pretty quick show here. Not a lot to uh, talk about as far as news goes. And uh, uh, as I say, GATA.org is one of the best websites out there for gold and silver stackers. You should be reading this at least once a week. Uh, I'm not going to read any articles today. Um, again, I'm short-staffed by two people, and I didn't sleep all night. There's my excuse. <laughs> uh, so you're going to get a short show. Sorry about that. Uh, Dave Crangelo, are you ready for the next big move in gold and silver? Of course we are, Dave. Uh, uh, us uh, stackers, already uh, we've been preparing for it for quite some time. And buying what? Buying the frickin' dips. That's what we do, Dave. Uh, U.S. dollar share of the world FX reserves rises slightly to 59.5. I don't know what that really means. Uh, however, GAT.org and the articles put in here are usually very meaningful. And uh, well, let's take a look. Let's see if it has anything to do largely with the price of gold. And I'm sure it does. They wouldn't have listed it if it didn't. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the U.S. dollar share of currency reserves reported to the international month edge up 59 in the first quarter of the year from 58.9. Uh, the greenbacks remain the largest held currency reserve by central banks uh, in the world. Well, that's because, well, if you look at the dollar, the dollar is a fiat currency. It, 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 since 1972, when Nixon took us off the gold standard and said we're all Keynesians now, um, we, we, the U.S. dollar is the longest surviving fiat currency in history since 1972, when Nixon really officially took us off the gold standard. Uh, so we're an experiment right now. We are the longest surviving currency out there. And that's why uh, a lot of other countries, a lot of central banks would probably prefer to hold dollars. Um, some of you may f be familiar with the term, the last horse to the glue factory wins. That's kind of what the U.S. dollar is the US dollar will be the US dollar out of all the central banks more than likely uh, maybe not all of them but most of them all the biggies uh, the US dollar is going to most likely to be the last uh, horse to, to get to the glue factory in the race so uh, and that's not a good thing because what do you really win um, no less um, this is what we're looking at here in the world and uh, what else is going on here in GATA.org world um, uh, Craig Hempke at Sprott. Boy, they do a lot of Sprott stuff here. Uh, Comex silver offtake exceeds last year's record rate. Um, <clears throat> that wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, physical silver is in great demand. If you watch yesterday's video, you know that in my belief, I think there is a major physical shortage out there. I think that uh, uh, industry is and will be competing with investors here pretty soon, uh, if not already, uh, especially with uh, mines closed uh, for over a year. I mean, Global mining was closed for a year, folks. Silver was hard to get before uh, the 2020 closures, uh, before everyone shut down, before the mine shut down, before the uh, exchanges, not the exchanges, but the uh, 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 resellers and the minters, uh, before they all uh, shut down, uh, before the refiners shut down, it was tough to get silver in any meaningful large quantities. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't buy your one ounces and you know every every other shop didn't have a couple bars or something like that. However, you know I had a hard time, and I've told this story many times be, before 2020, uh, before the closures, uh, I I was having difficult times placing orders for large amounts of uh, one ounce rounds and ten ounce bars and such. Uh, silver um, and the premiums were getting a little bit crazy at that time. And this is before 2020. It's only uh, going to be that much more exaggerated now. Uh, and again, I heard people say, well, silver is not rare. Well, folks, on the scale that we use it, uh, add in more investment demand, yes, it is. It is. And the fact that most silver gets thrown away in landfills, 
uh, never to be seen in our generation, more than likely. One day, maybe landfills will be a great business, you know, like mining. Uh, there'll be uh, uh, stuff will be so expensive that it'll be worthwhile going through landfills and recycling. Uh, no less, that's not happening now or anytime soon. Most of the silver that's used in industry is used in electronics, and it gets thrown right into the landfill. Uh, so there is issues. I bet there's probably more above ground gold available at any given time than silver. Uh, I might be pushing it a little bit there, but. Uh, uh, so there is a big uh, uh, glut, not a glut, there's a big, uh, uh, geez, a glut. Uh, there's a uh, uh, big demand for silver and uh, even bigger when the industry starts opening up, uh, especially with electronics and things, and investment demand is just flying off the hook. Uh, and as I said, one year of closures, you're never going to get that back. It's going to take many years to make that up, uh, especially with the deficits that we're seeing in silver demand. So that's my opinion. Uh, Matthew Pippenberg, uh, we read this article yesterday, really, really good, and my phones are ringing off the hook, and I'm short-staffed, so please give me one second. I've got to shut that off, let it go to voicemail. Sorry about that, customer. <laughs> and uh, Mexico warns against, well, we read these articles earlier in the week. As I said, if, there's any, if you're a new listener to my, uh, my uh, videos here, uh, the one thing I can tell you you'll take away from this is uh, if you haven't seen GATA.org and they're not on your bookmark bars, you'll be glad they are now, or you'll be glad I told you about them. Uh, ZH, not much going on out there as far as metals go as well. Um, let's see, let me just see if there's any kind of black swan events. Uh, the two most horrifying charts I've seen in a long time. Uh, not good. I mean, just uh, uh, there's no good news out there. It's just not good news economically. It's not good news and politically. There's so much not good news out there. Um, the only thing that makes me happy is my family, my friends, and going fishing or, you know, whatever hobbies I enjoy. Uh, but watching the news, no. Uh, however, I can't stick my head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend nothing's happening out there. And uh, that's why I recommend uh, friends and family and people I know uh, uh, securing their wealth or, or pre preserving their wealth. I'm not asking them to go out there and, and make big trades and get rich or lose a lot of money. I'm just saying secure your wealth by buying gold, silver, and, and uh, platinum. Uh, oh, wow, that's pretty tough right there. I guess I'll look at that later. Uh, ZH, by the way, is another free site. Not much to talk about, and as I said, I do have to make this show short. Um, I've got customers already coming in, and, my, and I'm short staff right now. Uh, sorry about repeating that. Boy, and I'm tired, too. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Bomb squad truck explodes after massive fireworks stash ignites. It? That's kind of weird. And uh, scammers, scammers, bad news, bad news. Uh, nothing really here great. So I'm going to move on real quickly to something. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to pull out the old wholesale sheet here, folks. Here you go, here. <laughs> and I'm going to give you some uh, good information uh, that you could use if you're still stacking gold and silver bars and coins. Uh, the best deals out there are going to be, uh, well, I'm going to give you spreads as well. I'm going to give you spreads on a few different products here. And I'm going to do it fairly quickly. So get your pencil out, or you can just pause the video and write it down as I go. Uh, gold one ounce eagles, the current wholesale spreads, which means what dealers buy and sell amongst themselves, is still wide as hell. Uh, I see bids as low as 70 bucks. I see ask from wholesale dealers as high as $150. That's wholesale. Um, gold one-tenth eagles are right off. Uh, they're just crazy. Do not, in fact, if you have one-tenth ounce eagles, I got a great idea. If you have a bunch of them, sell them. Get rid of them. The current bid wholesale price is 15% over. Uh, the, the current ask price is 24%. less. still 10% spread there uh, in wholesale. Big spreads here, too. Um, across the board, all wholesalers out there. I noticed that. Um, but if you have uh, uh, one tenth ounce eagles, man, you, you could get 15% over melt for those, uh, which is substantial. Oh my gosh, that's a couple hundred bucks, man, uh, per ounce that you would make on that. And then you could go back and buy yourself uh, even more one ounce gold bars and uh, add some silver in with it too, for, and, and it wouldn't cost you a dime. Uh, so if you got gold 10th ounce eagles, I'd recommend you probably trade those out. Premiums are ridiculously high. Uh, take advantage of those premium folks for trading them for lower price gold or silver. That's my opinion. Uh, gold maple leaves looks like uh, the four nine gold. There's two types of maple leaves out there. Uh, three nines, which are the older varieties from the 80s, and then four nines, which are the newer varieties uh, in more demand. And there's not a freaking difference between the two. Nobody can tell me that that fourth nine makes a huge difference. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it was just a marketing, a brilliant marketing ploy by the Canadians. They were the first ones to do that four nine, uh, if I if I remember as far as coins go. Uh, and it was a brilliant marketing plan. They came out and said how, how much purer their gold was. 
was in everyone else's. They were brilliant. It really was. Um, the bids and the ask. Okay, these are wholesale bids and ask. Um, and I can be killed for telling you guys these prices. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, however, there's a lot of people out there that would not be happy with me telling you what they're actually paying for product. Uh, that includes the big online sellers. This is this is about what they're paying for product out there as well. Uh, I'm giving you ranges here. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, SD, uh, JM, and uh, uh, Atmax, they're paying about these prices as well. So I don't think they'd be too happy to me telling you what their costs are. Uh, some dealers wouldn't, but some wouldn't care. Like me, profit is not a dirty word. To some people, it is. Some customers, profit's a dirty word, and I don't want to deal with them. So when they come in, I just kind of shuffle them out. But profit, a fair profit, and again, profit's not a dirty word, as long as it's fair. Uh, gold Maple Leafs, um, $30 to 55 bucks on the four niners. Uh, uh, the three niners, if you can find them, uh, they're they're fifteen dollars an ounce cheaper, and there's really not a significant difference other than uh, you know get the wholesale spreads on them. So you're looking at a, 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 the bid of ten and uh, an ask of uh, forty. Uh, so right in that range as far as uh, Maple Leafs goes. Let's look at Krugerrands, one of my favorites for a long time prior to the fact that we couldn't get them then. Um, well, I was I was uh, telling people to buy Krugerrands before bars because we, you know, the Krugerrands had a great premium. Uh, they weren't much more than the bars, maybe five bucks more per ounce or ten at the most, and uh, uh, a great product. But uh, they, you know, they got scarce too, just like all the other products here, and the premiums went up. But it looks like premiums for Krugerrands are coming down somewhat. The wholesale bids are anywhere from thirty dollars, and ask is up to fifty-five bucks. And these are wholesale bid and ask, folks. Um, probably a good range of them. Uh, gold Mexican fifty pesos. Uh, there's another coin, and let's take a look. I, I should actually be showing you these things as I'm going along too. Uh, there's your eagles right there, and there's more eagles, and there's some maple leaves. Maple leaves. <laughs> uh, four nine. There's some, a three nine maple. See the three nines right there, uh, and there's a four nine maple leaf. They look pretty scratchy though. Uh, if someone offers you scratchy maple leaves, and you can buy them for a big discount too, by the way, another little secret deal I'll tell you about. When we get them in, customers can buy them even cheaper. Uh, and who cares if a maple leaf's got a scratch on it? I'll tell you who cares. Retail folks care that. People that are new when they're buying gold or they have a choice uh, and they're spending $2,000 for coin, they don't want a little scratch on it, even though the scratch is meaningless. Uh, so they get kicked back to dealers who can offer them at a discount. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you got maple leaves, make sure you are storing them in good, soft plastic uh, containers and they're not rubbing against each other because as soon as you get them scratched up, they're going to get discounted. And... Uh, Oh boy, where else are we going to go from here? Mexican 50 pesos. I don't see a 50 peso here. Let me kind of, so most of you know what a 50 peso look, though, looks like. And uh, there's an Austrian Philharmonic. There's a, a, an item that I really love, one of my favorites, but they're not available right now. I think the uh, uh, Austrian mints are just not in production, or if they are, very minimal productions and stuff's not getting over here. Uh, so uh, I don't see any 100 Coronas whatsoever. I'm sorry, 100 Coronas, Philharmonics available anywhere out there and that's this product right here uh, the product that I see readily available and still is the best deal out there is one ounce gold bars and where is a one ounce gold bar here uh, that's a 10 that looks like a 5 and a 10 there uh, there's probably some one ounce no no those are too small uh, that's a hundred grammar uh, stay away from the gram uh, again if you can buy gram bars a lot cheaper you know do it you know for discount but try to buy quarter ounce they're more popular uh, in the United States quarter ounce half ounce and uh, one ounce increments uh, customers ask for them more so uh, I don't see one ounce gold bars on here doggone it um, anyways gold bars are the best deal out there between uh, uh, 60 and 85 hey, here I'll give you the wholesale spreads on them actually because again profits not a dirty word Gold one ounce bars and cards. I've seen bids as low as ten bucks, and uh, uh, I see them paying as high as thirty-five bucks. Uh, again, pretty big wide spread there, a twenty-five dollar spread. If you really needed to have them, you'd be paying. Uh, wholesale dealers are going to pay thirty-five bucks an ounce. Uh, us, we make forty-five bucks an ounce pretty much on all small gold deals, regardless of what the gold price is. I have a flat rate here, and as I said, I advertise to beat uh, the three big bullion dealers: Atmex, JM, and SD. Uh, pretty easy for me to do. Uh, because I got a small business. I don't have the overhead they do. And uh, I can buy at the same price as they do. And let's see what else we got here. If you can buy gold bars uh, without cards, that's the old Swiss credit bars. Again, if you look here, these don't have the cards around them. And let me type in uh, one ounce gold bars here, just so I can show you. Um, oh, Mexican. Here's a Mexican 50 peso, by the way. 
if you can find Mexican 50 pesos out there, those are great deals. They're more than an ounce. They weigh they're 1.2057 ounces each. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, offers being offered out there. Uh, again, call for availability. They're just not available out there. Um, and uh, I don't see any sell prices on my uh, uh, machine out here either whatsoever. Melt plus uh, 25 bucks. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, well, that's what they're offering for them. So they're in demand. They're, they're bringing a good premium. Uh, good product if you can find it. Uh, try not to pay more than uh, 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 Melt Plus $85 or something like that if you can on that. And gold one ounce bars, gold one ounce bars. Uh, as I said, uh, plus 10, the wholesale is plus 10 to plus 35. Anything above 35 is usually what the dealer is going to make in profits. These are all great products. Uh, Perth Mint's a great product. Um, they're a good product. And uh, where else? Uh, um, Royal Canadian Mint's a good product. I would avoid buying uh, uh, brand, you know, name bars that are named after companies like, like for example, this one. Uh, and, uh, because most dealers, uh, small dealers in local coin stores, don't like to buy uh, other people's bars with their name and their phone number and their website written all over it. Who wants to uh, uh, pay a premium for a gold bar as a dealer and then uh, give your customer a bar that has someone else's uh, business shit all over it? <laughs> Never made sense to me uh, why they do that. I just don't get it. Um, well, let's take a look here. Sunshine's a good bar, too. And let's look at some other products real quick. Um, of course, I've been saying that any of the... Uh, here, I'm going to type this in here. Gold uh, uh, gold $5 commems uh, US. Let's see if I can get myself... Uh, there you go. These are the $5 series uh, uh, commems. If you want to buy fractional golds, I think they're still the best deal out there. And uh, there goes that phone again. I thought I shut it off, but I did not. $5 commemoratives, the wholesale. Uh, this is pretty good, too. This is a way better way. I'm looking at quarter ounce eagles, which is almost the equivalent of these. And again, quarter ounce gold eagles are made by the same people that made these, the U.S. Mint. These are U.S. Mint products. They're $5 commemoratives. Um, when they originally sold, they had big premiums on them, but the collector premiums are almost completely gone uh, on some of them, not all of them. Some of these are better series. That's a little better series. Some of these are better series here. Look, it's all Atmax. Wow. Now they got a lot of them on, online there for pictures. Um, 86s are the best deal. 87s are the best deals. Um, they're close to the price of gold. And what's the wholesale spread on those? Let's take a look here. Um, dealers are paying anywhere between 1% over melt and they're selling up to $20 over melt to each other. And again, uh, if you're if you're working with a local dealer, you should probably be paying melt plus 30 to 40 bucks. That's a fair profit, my under, you know, if they're paying plus 20 for them wholesale. Uh, what else out there? Sovereigns, good deal as well. Uh, if you can pick those up for melt plus 30 to 40 dollars, uh, dealers are paying over melt for them, you know, plus uh, as, uh, plus six dollars for the new queens uh, and the uh, old. Don't don't spend money on the old kings or the old queens. They're a buck or two more per coin. Who cares what queen is on it? You're just buying gold. Um, so if you can buy sovereigns at thirty to forty bucks over, you're doing well as uh, too. Um, I'm sure I missed a bunch of other products, and there's a whole bunch of products on my you know on my little screen I'm looking at and the paper I'm looking at as well. Um, let's talk about ninety percent silver. Let's talk about silver coins real quick, and I'll, I'll get this one done. Silver coins um, and bars. So I'll stick in bars. By the way, this is DuckDuckGo. I think that's the name of the site that I use, Silver Coins and Bars. Um, there we go. Silver Coins and Bars. And let me hit the uh, images here. And I'm going to tell you what the best deals out there are. Uh, oh, DuckDuckGo. I like the search engine because when I'm done uh, uh, searching for stuff, I don't get 6,000 advertisements bombarding me um, on my other sites uh, because I don't think they share. Uh, your data. Uh, that's again free DuckDuckGo. I use it instead of Google. Kind of limited though in search engines. I'll use both but primarily this is the one I keep on my screen. So 90% silver coin which is this stack right here. Lots of pretty pictures out there. I gotta hand it to the interweb. Uh, some cool stuff. And uh, what are the wholesale spreads on this? It's $1.50 to three twenty-five. So I see dealers paying as little as $1.50 over spot for 90% and I see dealers asking as much as 325 wholesale. 
so if you know us, we make a dollar an ounce on silver here. I just mark it up a buck an ounce on small quantities. So we would be charging spot plus four and a quarter on 90% dimes, silver, silver dimes, quarters, and halves. Uh, not halves, just dimes and quarters. Uh, for some reason, halves are bringing a premium, and I don't recommend you buy them. Uh, why? Again, why? Who cares if there's an old queen or a new queen or a king on a coin, as long as it's got gold in it? Who cares um, uh, if, if a half dollar, dime, or quarter? It's all relative. It's the same amount of silver. Um, you know, four, five dimes is the same as a half dollar. And uh, silver one ounce rounds, man, there's a product that I've just been having difficulty getting. Uh, there's only a few really uh, generic uh, uh, retail bar makers out there, uh, and I'm sure they're overwhelmed, and one of them is just selling to their retail arm only. Uh, that would be Silvertown. I think Silvertown is owned by, uh, who is it, Amark, and Amark also owns JM Bullion. Uh, so I think Amark is uh, taking all their... Uh, or, or they're taking all the silver they're producing at Silvertown. Now this is speculation and I guess on my part, but uh, I think they're, they're, they're taking all the silver they're making at Silvertown and selling it directly to their own retail arm rather than the other dealers out there. Would make sense to me, uh, but that's why you're seeing a shortage of uh, uh, those type of products. And uh, let's move down the line here to some other products here. Um, what else is out there? One ounce, oh, I didn't tell you the uh, spreads on one ounce bars. It's uh, Plus two dollars uh, and plus three fifty. So uh, and the same thing for ten ounce bars. So I see dealers bidding uh, as little as two dollars over spot for uh, uh, one ounce to ten ounce silver bars and asking um, uh, three fifty over if they're available. Uh, as far as uh, U.S. Morgan silver dollars go, um, silver eagles overpriced, folks. I've been saying it for a long time. What's the spread on these? Still, I'm looking at the spreadsheets. Uh, wholesale bids are seven bucks. Wholesale ask are like nine dollars so seven and nine bucks even at seven bucks if you could buy them like a dealer it's still overpriced to my folks i don't know who buys those things at those huge overpriced premiums they're not worth it there's better product out there to buy uh, that's my opinion looks like there's pre-sales for the 2021 type twos uh, i see dealers out there offering them anywhere from uh, uh, 1050 to 1150 per ounce um, again pre-sale not on hand you'd have to pre-order those but why would you buy you're not buying silver. You're buying collectible at that point. Not worth it. Uh, silver maples, um, they're anywhere from uh, $3 to 5 and a quarter over. Uh, we have them here on hand ourselves. Um, and I got quite a few of them. I can sell it like spot plus 6 and a quarter, spot plus 6. And as I said, I advertise to beat all the online dealers. Um, not, I keep saying all. There's so many out there, the small dealers too, that, uh, uh, but I can't look at them all. So I'll beat the three biggies, Atmax, JM, and SD Bullion. Um, for products that I have on hand. Uh, and if they have products that are a decent price, I'll show you a product that's even a better price. And not only that, unlike the big online companies who don't have the time or resources to sit down and talk with you, if you come into my store, I'll sit down and talk with you and I'll tell you what the best deals to buy and how to make this play. Um, and you get that for free uh, as well. You're not paying anything extra for that. Uh, I am a local brick and mortar. I only deal here in, in South Florida. So if you don't live inside, you don't live here, or, or you can't come and visit me personally and buy from me personally. Uh, unfortunately, I can't deal with you folks, uh, so I do apologize for that. Well, I don't apologize, not my fault, but uh, uh, I'd sure like to deal with all of you across the country, but I don't have the means to do that. Uh, meanwhile, my suggestion is buy local, go to your local coin store or your precious metal store, uh, and see if that they'll meet or beat the online resellers. They can't beat everyone. Just grab the three biggies and ask them if they'll beat the three biggies out there. Uh, then you'll keep your money local. You'll spend it there. It'll get respent in town. Um, again, keep your money local, folks. There's one thing that's going to be so important is uh, uh, keeping money in our communities rather than shipping into major corporations uh, and never seeing it again, uh, not even the employees. Uh, so buy local. Best, you know, best thing you can do for your community and for yourself. Well, that's really about it. No, it's not. I didn't talk about gold prices. Go figure. Oh, my gosh. I told you I didn't feel well. Uh, I am half sleepy here, too. Looks like it's down three bucks when I last looked, but range is overnight. We're range bound. 1766 to 1783 provides a great opportunity to do what? Buy the frickin' dips. Uh, 2612 ranges overnight over the 26 mark for sure. Looks like silver made up to 2641. Uh, again, uh, a good opportunity to buy the dips considering we were close to that $29 mark not too long ago. Uh, and she'll get there again uh, not too long from now. Uh, platinum, uh, same thing, uh, bumping up to that $1,100 range. Uh, looks like we were uh, anywhere from 1063 to 1095. Uh, all these prices don't even get price, don't get fixed on prices, especially at 
sub $2,000 gold, sub $30 silver, and uh, sub $1,200 platinum. Uh, just buy it at those levels and, and put it away. Uh, again, this is about wealth preservation. This is not about getting rich quick. And it's simply my opinion of doing this uh, since, uh, oh, gosh, I've been doing this full time uh, since... Uh, well, I started part-time working for my father in 77. I've been doing this for 40-plus years now. I'm a second-generation dealer as well. Know my stuff, too, very well. Well, that's about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. Call me anytime between 10 and 4, Monday through Fridays at 954-493-8811. Happy to help you out with whatever you need. Hey, thanks for watching. Let's see what happened, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.